dark openings, or black holes, are among the most captivating and baffling phenomena in the universe. They are immense powerhouses, yet nearly imperceptible to us. A black hole weighing maybe two to four times the mass of the sun is a prime example. Over the last few decades, the research invested in them has transformed our understanding, from knowing almost nothing to uncovering more intricate details. Things have only gotten more fascinating, especially after recent breakthroughs. Not long ago, scientists finally revealed a glimpse of what's inside a black hole. This new information sheds light on the complex aspects of the universe that science may have initially overlooked. Join us as we delve deeper into the mysteries of black holes and unravel what's hidden within. Space is vast and daunting. But before we explore the recent findings, we must revisit the foundations. Despite many of us having a general idea of what black holes are, there are still gaps in our knowledge. It all began in 1916 when Albert Einstein published his theory of general relativity, which predicted the existence of black holes. At the time, the concept was purely theoretical, requiring an additional 50 years before the scientific community could confirm their reality. This happened in the 1960s while researchers were studying the Cygnus constellation and observed a strangely bright blue star emitting X-rays. This star was not a dormant object but was orbiting a massive dark entity. Upon further investigation, it was discovered that the X-rays weren't just floating around aimlessly but were being pulled into the dark entity they were circling. Thus, the term black hole was coined. This discovery was significant because it proved that black holes were not merely a product of Einstein's imaginative hypotheses but real entities in space. While this finding was groundbreaking, it also meant that there was a new and mysterious force in space that scientists urgently needed to understand. Researchers around the globe began to focus on this new challenge. The black hole was named Cygnus X1, located in the Cygnus constellation, approximately 6,000 light-years from Earth. It was a monumental discovery, being many times brighter than the sun and incredibly dense, giving it an immensely powerful gravitational pull. The gravitational force is so intense that not even light can escape from it, which is why it is called a black hole. The nature of a black hole is both fascinating and terrifying. It is a region in space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape its grasp. Anything that gets too close is drawn in and never seen again. This element of danger only makes it all the more compelling to learn as much as possible about these cosmic behemoths. Was this the end of our understanding, or just the beginning? It turned out to be the latter. After the discovery of Cygnus X1, scientists began searching for other black holes and found that there might be over a hundred million black holes in the Milky Way alone. However, due to their elusive nature, the exact number remains uncertain. Even so, there are likely millions of black holes in our own galaxy, making them critical subjects for study. So, let's break it down, the primary concern with black holes will always be gravity. Their gravitational pull is so extreme that anything entering it is compressed to a singularity, a point where the laws of physics as we know them cease to function. In simpler terms, black holes are like cosmic vacuum cleaners, sucking in everything around them. One of the most terrifying aspects of this research is the realization that if someone were to fall into one, they would reach a point where they are stretched and compressed simultaneously, ultimately ending in a singular line. This process would occur slowly, and the individual would perish long before their body is fully transformed into a line. So, let's just say no one should willingly step into one. But considering their abundance, could we actually be in danger? Despite the fact that the closest known black hole to Earth is 500 to 1000 light years away, it's still close enough to warrant caution and concern. In 2021, researchers were able to produce the first clear image of a black hole, specifically, the M87 black hole. This black hole was captured over several consecutive nights, and with each image, scientists gathered more and more evidence about its nature. They had to compile the individual photos to create a complete picture. Through this process, they discovered that a black hole has three distinct layers. It is not just a singular, gaping void as commonly believed, rather, it is far more complex. To reach the so-called nothingness of a black hole, one must first pass through the initial two layers. The first layer is known as the event horizon, which marks the point of no return. Once you cross the event horizon, there is no escape, and you will inevitably be drawn into the black hole. From there, things only get worse. The second layer is the photon sphere, the region where light itself orbits the black hole. Any light entering this area will be trapped and cannot escape the gravitational pull. Finally, we reach the third layer, which is the singularity. This is where everything that enters the black hole is compressed infinitely until it becomes a singularity, a point in spacetime where the laws of physics as we know them break down, and we cannot predict what happens next. At the singularity, the density is infinite, and the laws of physics cease to apply. 
What makes this even more alarming is that each black hole is uniquely different from the others. While they tend to follow the same three-layer structure, their behavior can vary drastically. If this were any other phenomenon, all we would need to do is return to our telescopes and study the primary issue in detail. But with black holes, that is not an option. Researchers can only study them indirectly by observing the radiation they emit and the gas and dust that surrounds them. Sending a probe, like the Voyager spacecraft, into a black hole is impossible because anything that crosses the event horizon is pulled toward the singularity, where it is compressed into an infinitely small point. So, spending billions of dollars to get a direct image each time would be a waste, as the probe would be destroyed the moment it got close enough. Because of this, scientists are left with no choice but to study black holes in a two-dimensional manner, even though they are three-dimensional anomalies. Making things even more complicated, each black hole is unique, and the laws of physics break down as we attempt to analyze their interior. This means that conventional scientific methods do not apply to the study of black holes. That doesn't mean researchers have been idle. There are many theories and explanations regarding black holes, and each one only makes things more intriguing. One of the most compelling theories suggests that black holes are formed from collapsing stars. When a star depletes all its fuel, it can no longer generate enough energy to counteract the force of gravity pulling inward. Consequently, the star begins to collapse in on itself, becoming denser and denser. If the star is massive enough, this process continues until it becomes a singularity. To truly grasp the nature of black holes, NASA scientists turned their attention to the core of the M87 galaxy. Astronomers observed an immensely powerful whirlpool of extremely hot hydrogen gas spinning at an astonishing rate of 1.2 million miles per hour. The sheer force should have caused the spinning disk of gas to fly apart in all directions, but it didn't. Scientists concluded that a colossal mass must be at the center of the galaxy, holding everything together. This massive object weighed between 2 and 3 billion times more than the Sun and had to be a black hole. But this isn't the only theory on how black holes behave. But when it comes to the complexities of black holes, even the most cutting-edge theories come with a host of contradictions and unknowns. One of the most intriguing theories surrounding black holes is known as the Kerr solution. Proposed by New Zealand mathematician Roy Kerr in 1963, it suggests that certain black holes could be rotating. This idea fundamentally changes the way we think about these celestial entities. Instead of simply being a single point in space, a rotating black hole creates a distorted, swirling region of spacetime around it, known as the ergosphere. The ergosphere is not like the event horizon, here, particles and radiation can still escape, although they are caught in a complex gravitational dance that can fling them away at extreme velocities. This spinning effect may also cause what is known as frame dragging, where spacetime itself is twisted in the direction of the black hole's rotation. Objects near the ergosphere would be pulled into a spiraling path, moving in the same direction as the black hole spin. Some physicists believe that such black holes could be gateways to other parts of the universe, and even to parallel universes. This concept is linked to the idea of wormholes, which are hypothetical passages through spacetime that could potentially connect two distant points in the universe. If a black hole is spinning fast enough, it might theoretically tear a rift in spacetime and connect to a white hole on the other end, a region that, instead of pulling matter in, ejects it back out. But that's just speculation, and we have yet to find any conclusive evidence that wormholes or white holes exist. The real mystery lies in how a rotating black hole singularity might differ from a non-rotating one. According to the Kerr solution, a rotating black hole does not have a simple singularity point. Instead, it possesses a ring singularity, a loop-shaped structure where space-time curvature becomes infinite. If true, this ring could be a doorway to other regions of the universe, allowing for travel between different points in space and time. Theories like these are tantalizing, but we're still unable to confirm them. If traversing a black hole could offer a means of exploring the universe or even escaping it, it raises the question, what really happens inside a black hole? This is where things become even more speculative. According to classical physics, once you cross the event horizon, you are doomed to be pulled into the singularity and crushed to an infinitely small point. But quantum physics introduces new possibilities. One of the most contentious ideas is known as the information paradox, proposed by Stephen Hawking in the 1970s. Hawking's calculations suggested that black holes do not just pull in matter and energy, they also emit a type of radiation that eventually causes them to evaporate and disappear entirely. This radiation, now known as Hawking radiation, is a form of quantum mechanical energy that is slowly released from the black hole over time. But here's the catch, if a black hole evaporates, what happens to all the information that was trapped inside it? The laws of physics state that information cannot simply be destroyed. 
even if matter is compressed into a singularity, its underlying information, the unique quantum states of every particle, should still be preserved in some form. So, when a black hole vanishes, where does this information go? This conundrum led to a fierce debate among physicists, with some arguing that black holes fundamentally destroy information, while others believe that the information is somehow preserved, encoded in the radiation that escapes. Recently, a new theory known as the holographic principle has emerged to address the information paradox. It suggests that all the information swallowed by a black hole is not lost but instead encoded on the two-dimensional surface of its event horizon, much like a hologram. In other words, the three-dimensional interior of the black hole can be entirely described by the two-dimensional surface area of its event horizon. This would imply that, paradoxically, black holes are not three-dimensional entities at all but rather two-dimensional surfaces projecting a three-dimensional reality. This theory is still highly controversial, but it hints at a much deeper connection between black holes, information, and the very fabric of spacetime itself. To make matters even stranger, physicists have recently proposed that black holes might not be entirely black at all. Some theories suggest they might possess a firewall, a zone of incredibly high-energy particles surrounding the event horizon. If a firewall exists, then any object falling into a black hole would be instantly incinerated upon crossing the event horizon, rather than gradually stretching and compressing as previously thought. This idea, known as the firewall paradox, has sparked yet another debate, challenging long-standing beliefs about what happens at the boundary of a black hole. But perhaps the biggest surprise came from recent simulations that have unveiled a new possibility, black holes might not always lead to a singularity. Instead, they could contain a Planck star. Proposed by physicist Carlo Rovelli, the idea suggests that instead of collapsing to an infinitely dense point, the matter inside a black hole could reach a point of maximum compression, known as the Planck scale, and then bounce back outward. This would mean that black holes are not eternal traps but rather temporary states that eventually explode outward, releasing their contents in a burst of energy. If true, Planck stars could solve the information paradox by allowing black holes to recycle their contents, preserving information rather than destroying it. The implications of such theories are profound. Could black holes be the universe's way of renewing itself, breaking down matter and energy only to release it back into the cosmos? This would mean that black holes are not just destructive entities but potentially creative forces that help shape the universe. If confirmed, it would fundamentally change our understanding of the universe's life cycle. And as scientists continue to unravel these mysteries, each discovery only seems to deepen the enigma. Could black holes be the key to understanding not just the universe's structure but also its origin and ultimate fate? It's possible. With every new insight, we edge closer to answering these profound questions. But for now, black holes remain an enigma, a riddle hidden in the heart of darkness, beckoning us to unlock its secrets.